Welcome to the Holy Land and the biblical site of the Sea of Galilee. See the Bible come to life as we look at some fascinating things that took place right around the Sea of Galilee. Of all the places in Scripture, we have Jerusalem and then the Sea of Galilee that are the two most important places in Israel. So we're going to be looking today at some of the things about the Sea of Galilee. Look along, follow along as we take a look here. It's a freshwater lake about 8 miles wide and about 12 miles long. It's located about 700 feet below sea level. It is the main fresh water source for much of Israel. Because of its location, storms can rise quickly from the west coming to the east and, and come down onto its surface. So therefore, when Christ uh, walked on the water and calmed the sea, uh, storms would just come down in a moment's notice and uh, hit down here on the sea. It's about 70 miles uh, north of Jerusalem. Uh, it was located on the main crossroad of the known world during the time of Christ, uh, during his ministry on earth, called the Via Maris. It linked the continents of Africa, Asia, and Europe. Uh, it was the main travel route uh, that passed along here called the Via Maris or the Way of the Sea. Travelers from these three continents were forced to use this trade route as there was no other means for traveling to and from the continent. So, once again, the Sea of Galilee, the northern shore where Christ spent 70% of his ministry, was very strategically located because it was on the main crossroad linking the known world at that time, Africa to the south with Asia and Europe to the north. So they had to pass through uh, Israel along the sea and then they would cut in right along the uh, Sea of Galilee. So there's still uh, um, markers of the Roman road that passed uh, right through here. So. Um, so fascinating thing about the uh, location of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, the north shore of the Sea of Galilee um, was even more traveled than the road routes leading to Jerusalem. So it was on the main crossroad of the world at that time. That's why Christ chose this area to minister. As a result, by spending most of his ministry time in the northern uh, Galilee area, Christ's miracles would travel to the known world at that time. So here are some biblical events that happened here around the Sea of Galilee. So we have seen its strategic location on the Via Maris uh, crossroads of the, uh, of the world, and Christ spent 70% of his ministry time here. Let's look at some other things about the Sea of Galilee. Abraham entered the Promised Land through the gateway of the Sea of Galilee when he first journeyed from Ur of the Chaldeans. In Matthew 4, we find that Jesus established his home ministry base in the town of Capernaum, which is located on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. At least six of the twelve disciples were from this northern shore area here. Uh, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, and Philip. Um, Christ called on the northern shore here of the Sea of Galilee. According to Acts 1, even the rest of the disciples, it says, were from the, from the sea or from the Galilee region as well. Uh, Jesus calmed the storm here, or calmed the sea here several times. Uh, Christ fed the 5,000 and the 4,000 on his shores. In fact, over to the left of me, he fed the 5 and the 4,000 different places, but on the, uh, uh, we believe, the eastern side of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, Jesus walked on the water here uh, several times. Christ preached the Sermon of the Mount uh, here, which was his most famous and longest sermon uh, he ever preached. Uh, Jesus cast out demons uh, out of a herd of 2,000 pigs here. Uh, Christ did the majority of his miracles uh, right here on the Sea of Galilee. Uh, the miraculous catch of the fish of miracle was performed here by Jesus. Large multitudes of people followed Jesus here, which, kept, which could have easily been upwards of around 15,000 or plus uh, people that followed Jesus. We know that Jesus fed uh, 5,000 and 4,000. Those, those were just the men. They didn't take into consideration the women and children. So to feed 5,000, there easily could have been maybe 15, even 20, 25,000 people that he actually fed. So there was large multitudes that followed him. They came from everywhere around uh, Israel and even north um, of Israel. Jesus performed every class of miracle. 
here around the Sea of Galilee to show that he was Lord of every aspect of creation. Here are some just various kinds of miracles which Christ dealt with uh, here in this area. Uh, he healed sicknesses, all kinds of sicknesses. He had authority and cast out demons. He was in authority over the weather. He calmed the sea. Uh, he, was, he was in charge of nature, had authority over nature. He, he cursed a fig tree and it died. He, was, uh, he had authority over animals. He cast uh, demons out of a, of a demon-possessed man and they ran down the sea uh, into the seashore, into the actual sea and drowned. Um, he raised people from the dead uh, here in this area, and once again, he fed the 5,000, 4,000, and he even had power to forgive sins. He forgave uh, um, uh, sins as well, so uh, significant things about Christ's authority uh, as he uh, preached. Also, Christ, Christ preached the parables of the kingdom. In Matthew 13, we find the, the largest content of the parables of the kingdom that were preached from the seashore of, uh, I think, close to Capernaum on the northern uh, seashore. Uh, Jesus appeared here after his resurrection uh, to the uh, apostles. He reinstated Peter, restored Peter on the northern shore here. Uh, Jesus spent about 70% of his ministry time here on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, he also cursed the unrepentant cities of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum, which were located here, right on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee in the Galilee area. So. Uh, what are some interesting facts we've noted about the Sea of Galilee area? Let's just uh, um, summarize uh, the key points here. It's a freshwater body of water. It is located on the main crossroad of the known world at, uh, during Christ's ministry on earth. It linked the travel between the three continents of Africa, Asia, and Europe. So some people wonder why Christ spent his time what, in, what might appear in a, in a kind of a far corner of the nation of Israel, why he didn't do it in the spiritual and financial center of Jerusalem. But it was really um, the northern shore of, sea of, of the Sea of Galilee was, was traveled more actually than, than uh, Jerusalem. So uh, God and His sovereignty uh, chose exactly where Christ would minister. So uh, Christ um, healed large uh, uh, multitudes of people, all kinds of sicknesses, large multitudes of people followed Him, uh, upwards of 15 to 25,000 in size. Uh, Jesus spent around 70% of His ministry here and He cursed the towns of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum uh, here. So anyway, some fascinating things about the Sea of Galilee in its strategic place uh, during Christ's ministry during His time on earth. Thank you for watching and God bless.